hello it's Sarah and I'm gonna be doing some on-camera burning wood burning today I got my order from what the heck is it called god if I only had a brain Colt no coal wood is my woodpecker woodpecker um, it's just a wood supplier in New Jersey where I live um, I ordered blanks these are birch birch wood ply ply birch whatever anyway it's the smoothest nicest wood so I've already squirted these to give them uh, to bring the tooth up and then I sanded them I got two 10 inch ones two 12 inch ones and two 14 inch ones so I should be busy for a while <coughs> I've already started the bones of this I, I haven't done a 12 inch before so I have I only ordered 10 and uh, 14 before so this is my first 12 inch and I just I figured 12 inch 12 what is it? spokes so I did a 12 spoke on a 12 inch one and I like how it looks I mean I'm gonna start burning this is the bones like I said um, I do it in pencil I wanted to show you too I finished all of the um, coasters I guess I mean I don't know if I'll actually use them as coasters the top was a, like a little bit of a different wood it had a different feel to it but I did add color to the top and then the rest of them I did not add any color so this is kind of a take on one of the little ones I did so but like I said in the my previous video every mandala depending on one change will look different depending on one line you know if I decide to move or change something so um, that being said this is how these turned out and I'm really loving them I'm loving right now I have oh wait let me save this yeah I did right now I have darks and lights I have no middle for the most part um, but I'm gonna work on that I'm trying to work on my shading to get variations in darkness but for right now this is what it is um you know this one i had a lot more dark i love it though i love them all they really really turned out nice and i've also changed the tech the technique i use to to get the dark so it looks a lot smoother it doesn't look as gouged like say this it's a different look like this just looks different it's deeper burned deep more deeply burned i should say Anywho, so I'm just getting the hang of it. Um, this one I liked because I put the flowers in those big petals and then I burned around them. So it's just trying new things. And this actually does seem a little lighter, those the middle pinwheel, um, than some of it. But, I mean, it's just a cool, I love it. Every one is different. And then this was the one, Bart actually had us do this rope. And I believe I've painted rope in the past. I've done projects that have rope. And yeah, I mean, it's, so it's drawn out like this. We did this on one of her uh, pieces. But the burning for me was a, a breakthrough because I definitely feel like it got dimensional. Like it almost looks like the rope parts are kind of sitting on top of the rest. And then the rest is just kind of triangly and dotty. You know, I, I'm using what I know right now. And that's kind of a common straight lines are easy and I just wanted to fill it in but I really was just playing with the rope pattern on this one and these aren't varnished or anything um, so for today I'm gonna share how I burn and I am NOT an expert I am a beginner by far um, the most this is the most burning I've done at one time so say for a period of time I've been burning now for like a month consistently um, and so I feel like that's it's building my technique my my skill is improving because I keep doing it and I'm feeling the tools now that being said I have to call I have to call Colwood today I forgot because I think I put my wrong email address so I'm not getting any notifications but I did just order two more tips I feel like I ordered um, oh I, I know I ordered a bigger ball tip um, like a much bigger dot dotting tool and I think I ordered another one now this I want to say this is probably considered um, 
a shading tip but I use it to make my lines because I like the way it uh, makes lines but right now I'm just going to switch this out real quick while I'm, I'm thinking of it because I won't be using my dotting tool I'm going to use this one so this is considered a writing tip so I'm pretty sure I ordered another one of these because I don't know if I'm burning too hot, too, you know, whatever. I'm abusive. I broke my, um, the one that you get from uh, Michael's. It's called uh, the Universal. It's like a soldering iron, but it's, uh, it's the one that Manisa uses. I ordered her book and I pre-ordered it. Um, so that should be coming soon. Um, anyway, so let me just start burning. So I am actually using this. This is a filter. Um, I got this to do, um, it's a smoke absorber. I got it to do stained glass. So when I do solder work, I use this as well. But it also just really helps pull the smoke away um, from me when I'm burning so that I'm not just breathing the smoke in. I wanted to film this outside because it is beautiful out. But I don't have a good setup out there. I couldn't really, it just would it's just so much easier to sit in here and do it. So it is what it is. I'll take breaks and I'll go outside. Um, I have some uh, macrame I want to do later too because I, I want to do um, a couple of begonia pots. I think they're like 10 inch pots, flower pots that I got for my porch. And those pots are so ugly. They just have that like coat hanger, like hanging thing. Um, and I'm going to put, I'm going to make a macrame for that. So, anywho, um, I'm going to turn on my fan too, by the way. I'm just warm and, uh, I hope everyone's doing well. I'm going to turn on my burner. So, this Colwood Super Pro 2 has two settings, detail, heavy duty. I talked about this briefly. When I call today, I'm going to ask about it because the both of these cords are different. This cord has this blue part, and I'm sure it's to signify something, but I don't know <coughs> whether it means put it on the detail side. No, wait a minute. Oh, that is for the detail side. Okay, because it's attached. The cord is attached, so that doesn't get moved. Oh, so the blue side, it, maybe it's just to let me know. I have no idea. Um, and then my handles are detachable as well as the tips. Um, that's just how mine is. I think they do have fixed tips. Like you could buy this whole thing as one. Anyway, they have additional um, sections for you to put the cork as well because this gets kind of hot. And I also have a temperature gauge here. So when I'm burning on the heavy duty side, I do not need my temperature up as high. I usually burn on like a four and a half or a five because I like a dark burn. So that's just what I've been doing lately. That could change because um, the more I learn and um, understand how to use the tools, you know what I mean? So this is just a little, all these wires, see that was the other thing. I, I have a plug outside, but I would have needed extension cords, all that good stuff. So I figured in here is the way to go. So I'm just going to burn a little bit for you on camera and show you, kind of talk you through what I'm thinking. Um, I've, I've done all these lines in pencil, so um, I can erase. I just use a white eraser to erase. But let me start burning. So it's on a four and a half on heavy duty. I just turned my my Colwood Super Pro 2 on. It takes like 20 seconds to heat the tip up. And sometimes you really it'll get red. Like it there's a lot of heat involved in this. But for right now, I'm gonna try, and I always have my little uh, scrap wood right here. And this is I don't know if it's called a honing. Let's see if it says it on here. It's just a fine sandpaper, but you're supposed to be able to get the carbon off your off your tip with it. So I kind of do that. But I have these little samplers of um, just so I can see how hot the the burn is going to be. So that's that's good. That's a four and a half. I'm going to turn on my uh, sucker, and I'm just going to start burning. So this is, I do straight lines um, first. Uh, let me start with this star. The first burn of the day. 
And mandalas are really nice because it's very repetitive. So I, I just keep moving the board and making the same burn. And it keeps me on, keeps me even too. Like I didn't quite go all the way to that line, but I can fix it. And remember, every line, you have to remember that this is going to be a finished piece. So don't get worked up about every line. Now this tip has like a rounded edge to it. And I like it because I can do curves with it, but I'm so hard on it. See how it's, you can see how it's bent a little bit. Um, oops, went out of line. I hate when that happens. So I got to focus. All right, so that's good. I think really for me right now, it's the amount of pressure I'm putting and um, how hot the tool is. That's all the only things I can kind of know about because that's all I really can tell you right now. I'm not. I'm not knowledgeable enough to give you any more reason why I'm doing what I'm doing, just that it works for me. So that's why I do it. And I'm pretty happy with so far how uh, I've, I've been improving. I can't tell you. I mean, I think wisdom, right? Wisdom is knowledge and experience mixed together. Oops, kind of went out of lines a little there. And you can know everything there is to know about this, but to do it is really, that really gives me the expertise, you know, the wisdom. Because uh, I have to feel, hmm, I'm going to make these lines. To the center. Whoops, that was crooked. Oh wow, that was very crooked. That's not good, Sarah. Something's going on with my tip. I think it's bending. See, I'm blaming it on the tool when it's human error. It was me. All right, I like that. It's good enough. Ooh, I don't even know if I'm in the shot. Dang it. Ooh, my sock fell off my chair. Sorry. All right, so it's a little pollen -y out there still. I thought it was kind of, oops, going away. But my eyes have been super itchy. And, uh, but I hosed off the front porch and I'm not in the shot. I'm so sorry. Let me look at what I'm doing. Um, and it didn't come back. Like I hosed off the porch was covered in yellow. And It really didn't come back fully like there's still a little um, coating of, of dust like a dusting and I'm hoping like let's see it's June 1st today I'm hoping that because everything I was so late put it we just went and got some flowers yesterday um, usually I do a lot more I'm not going to do all my hanging baskets and all that. I'm just not going to do it. I figured it'll be fine. I have a couple and that's it. Um, now for your longer lines, it's a little more, I just take my time. But I love this tip because it has the rounded edge. And it... Uh, I can make a curved line pretty well with it. Now, 
I drew on, like I said, in pencil, and I'm not going exactly on the line. It's just somewhere to take, so my eye can follow, and I know where I'm headed. And then at the end, I erase, and they don't always come off as well as, uh, what the, okay, that was very weird. Now, sometimes, see, I want to, I want to blame the tools again, but it's definitely, uh, it's a fibrous surface. It's a, it's a piece of wood. So the wood's going to do things too, you know, it's a combination of everything, of my skill, the heat, the wood. Now, I, it feels like it's dragging, so I'm just dragging my blade across the, that piece of sandpaper. And now I'm going to go this way and see if it's easier for me to make my lines going this way. I kind of like that way because I can see where I'm headed better. I want this to suck into there, but like if it was hotter, I have I'd have to move faster. And I'm pretty fast. Like I'm not a slow crafter at all. Oops, that was way off. I'm actually done first a lot in classrooms and stuff like that like I'm just a fast crafter now this one I don't know if you can see it yeah I might widen it but I like it like that I think I'm going to keep it like that see just by widening by putting the line over here to there it would look so much different but I want this to be pointy so I'm going to keep it pointy And see if I slow down, it go the tool goes down into the wood more too. It'll get deeper and darker, which I like. I like it dark. I like actually I like that little halo burn or whatever, that little uh <clears throat> it's like overcast or something. It's called something. Uh yeah, like, I don't know all the language. I think James just came home from his run. I got Kirby groomed today. She's so, she looks so cute because she was a mess. So I went to PetSmart and I went in. I wore my mask and I, uh, I went in, but, uh, they have curbside service. Anyway. So this, I wanted to show you this. I'm going to turn off my machine for one second. This tool, I all of a sudden I realized this has circles in it. Because I was trying to draw my circles on here. These are little circles. And I just put this there and I was able to draw them <clears throat> so easy with that. So I'm going to remember I have this because I could be making all sizes of circles. Like I could put a big circle in here. OMG, that might look cool. No, not today. Ooh, but right, ooh, what about that size? Like, see? I like putting circles. Circles, all I've been, I've been working with um, <clears throat> straight lines a lot. But look how pretty that looks already. And now this is just the first, like I say, the bones, right? Then I will have to decide what goes inside each of the little so you know you make that shape then I'll decide like I'm, I, I'll probably I think I am gonna put my little sunsets in here because I just love them um, let's see what else I have in here I have this squiggle line in here and I this one I doubled and I really like the way that looks but I didn't double it here huh I don't think I'm gonna um, I could just make an echo shape and darken in there and le like there's so many little things that I'm going to be able to do after that will change the whole look of this by adding dots um, things like that like look at this one this is kind of similar this here it is it's a similar 
I put different lines. See how on this one I put the lines in a different spot. So in other words, on this one I put the lines from the middle of the points from here down. And on this one I went from there because I did that here. So I just changed it a little bit. Um, you know, I don't really have too many of these, but I did a bigger one at the edge. This is going to be big. So let me keep, I'll go off camera and I'll finish the bones. And then I'll come back and I'll just do um, another idea of how to move forward once I get the bones. But we'll have a look at it with the bones. All right, I'll be back. All right, I've got most of it done. I wanted to show you the difference. This is the, the writing tip. And I'm going to do these circular, these circle lines. And I'm just, I've got it. This is the detail side. And it's on a number six. So I, let's see, I'm going to do it on my um, practice piece. And I don't think I even sanded this. I need to use a really light touch really light touch but I can get a good circle so let's try it and it's a nice dark burn but I'm not trying to gouge the wood so that's pretty circular and the, like I said the wood has grain lines in it so it if the I, it, it'll pull me towards the way the wood is the wood grew the grain lines so I just have to have a light touch and don't let those grain lines pull the pen sometimes it gets a little bumpy if I push too hard sorry my the little uh, the cord is like I don't like it all right I'm going to try one of these curvy lines. So what happens is I use light pressure. I have to go a little slower. But what I'm finding is I'm able to get a consistent burn. So in other words, it looks the same as the straight edge burn. You know, it has the same depth of color, in other words, I guess I'm trying to say. But um, it's a little bit of a different feel when I'm actually burning. Because I'm really... Whoopsie, I fell in a hole. And I do that with the, uh, the straight edge as well. I'll show you. Um, yeah, this is not all perfect, guys. It's, I'm trying to keep it as consistent as I can. But like here, let me, I'm going to put that down. I'll turn it off for one second. So there was a couple places on here where I fell in holes. Um, here, here's one. This place right here. So I kind of, I started going crooked. Like you can actually see my, um, my pencil line right there. So I was way off course. I started heading in the wrong direction. I was going this way. So I just kind of picked it up and started heading over. And it, I mean, I'm pretty able to kind of correct myself. But sometimes, um, I don't know, I can't explain it, but there's definitely, it's not all perfect. There's hot spots and, and crooked spots and all that. Um, but I just wanted to show you the difference with that. Uh, this is considered a writing tool, and this is what I sign my name with. Um, and I've gotten a lot more comfortable with this. It's just that it's a, I like the look of this straight dark deep burn but this I'm starting to get used to like I could probably burn this whole I don't think I could do a lot of straight lines with this I don't know I think it's better for curvy lines I like the way I'm using that one for um, straight lines and this one for curvy lines so let me take my my white eraser and I'm gonna erase I'll see if 
since well, I'm not that zoomed in, let's see. So let's see if you can. Um, all right, so here I'm going to erase these line, this line here, and it'll come off pretty well. See, it's gone. It's pretty much gone. I think the ones that I have a harder time with are the ones that I burned right near. So let's go to that like here, this one, where I went off the line and see if I can get this off because it seems, oh no, that came off pretty good. But the closer the pencil is to the burn, it doesn't seem to come off as easy. Like maybe burning it makes the wood refuse to erase. I don't know. I mean, although those look pretty good. So yeah, so after I burn, I will go around and um, erase any visible pencil lines that I don't want because I am going to make some more now. I'm going to make my some more designs inside. Now this one was a big mess up. Well, I just went way down. It's not as arched as some of the other ones. Um, so anyway, the next round with this will be deciding where I want darks and lights because like if I when, I, when I wanted to darken this up, I made a double line. Like I made it, I echoed the shape. So I'll show you. I think I'll do that on my sunset. So in other words, um, I'll take, I'm going to put the sunsets in this one. I think that'll look pretty. So I'm going to burn a line. Oops. And I don't need to put these in pencil because I can do it without it, just by eyeballing it. Just the way I'm doing it with the pencil now, I would do it with the, the burner pen. See how I went out of line though? <laughs> That's the risk you take, and that would be, make me mad. All it would do is make me, I would have to darken that. So that's that space, and then you know what I'm going to use the, one of these to make a nice <coughs> shape. Sun, sun. I think I'm going to use this one. Let's see if this looks good. I like that. Oh, you guys can't even see it. Yeah, I like that size. But here's the thing. I have a circle here and a circle there. I don't know if I like that. Maybe I'm going to put my sunsets in all of these. I don't have to put sunsets in there. You know? It could be something completely different. So those are all the decisions that I'm going to have to make eventually. But for right now, um, this is like I said, this is the bones, the skeleton. The skeleton of it. Then I... Each one of these can be its own work of art. You know what I mean? Its own thing. So um, that's what I'll have to go away and decide. So I'll come back as I progress, all right? And um, I'll share my process when I create them. Oops, a mandala. I don't know what that was. Oh, my pencil. Um, thank you, Shirley. Shirley sent me my pencil. All right, so um, let's go back up, and I'll keep going just for those of you who want to see a little more. Um, I'll finish this, and then I'm going to go away, and I'm going to figure out what designs I'm going to add to this. So I can't wait. Like, I'll probably finish this today, I swear. I mean, it's still, well, it's at least noon. Let's see. Oh, it's, oh gosh, it's quarter to two. But time stands still for me when I'm creating, guys. It is, oopsie, make it easy, Sarah. It is just feeding my spirit and I do not feel time at all. I just 
for your happiness. I'm going to go a little harder, six and a half. This is the detail tool, the detail side. And you can tell as soon as I touch down. So I am learning so much because. I'm learning patience right now. I'm learning a gentle touch. To be gentle, which I am not gentle. I am rough. See, and I am not following the line. I'm letting, I want it to be organic. Whoops, got stuck. going a little fast. I think I need to slow down. That's fun to do, that little uh, swirl. So this, this point, this tip I should say, whoops, got stuck, see? May become uh, a favorite. I also have a calligraphy tip that I have not even tried yet. For doing um, lettering. I got stuck in a lot of those curves because it's just, I believe it has to do with how the wood is, uh, how it grew. Um, the, uh, what is it called? I can't think of the word for it. The grain lines, that's what I'm trying to say. But yeah, I got to call Colwood because I ordered, like I said, a bigger ball tool. And I want to get that because I want to add it to my designs. And um, I don't know if I gave the right email address or I don't know because I haven't heard anything back from them. Really light touch and slow. And you can just see the difference in the burn when I do that. That was smooth. A little too slow and I go too deep into the wood. And I get those little the catches. Whoa. And then in those little dips, so I'll turn this off. In those dips, I'm gonna put. I want to put a dot with my dotting tool, and I'll use the um, the one I have. But I want to see how big the uh, it, how big of a dot it makes when I get the bigger one too. I probably won't be able to wait, but I can wait. I'll just wait to make those dots until the very end. So that's it guys this is the actually <clears throat> there's one more line around I think I am gonna add that there's one more and I think I will put uh, I have to take it out to the edge so I'll just create that line and that will be so let's see this is let's see on the curvy line see I like to put a dot oh, that's not a good let me go get my big ones. Hold on. I also just got this, you guys. I haven't... Oh, my toe. I hit my toe again. I have socks on and I'm slipping into things. This is the tote that I ordered from TracyMoreau.com. It says it right here. www.tracymoreau.net I'm sorry, .net. I freaking... Ours is .net too, and I always put com, and that's why I don't think they have my email, Colwood, because 
I always say .com and it's .net. Man, I'm old. But anyway, I haven't, um, I just put my finished mandalas in here because it's a big tote. This was $15. It's two-sided. It's the same pattern on both sides. It's a sugar skull with a crown on and some flowers and an ace. And I'm going to paint this. I'll probably do it on camera. Um, but I want to, I'm going to, uh, look into what her suggestions would be for, um, how to paint this because I have textile medium and all that. See, this is the 14 inch. This is a 12. And then this is the 10. Cool, right? Anyway, so this is holding my finished mandalas right now. So, yeah, so look, I, um, what was I going to tell you about, oh, oh, the edge. Actually, I've brought all of these up to the edge. I just didn't have a small, I forget what I was going to say. Dang, oh, the dots. I remember. I was, I was looking for one that had this, the swirl with the dots. It's not on here. But see how small these dip dots are? I mean, they're tiny. Here, I'll come in. This is a really small dotting tool. Like, when I pull the straight lines, the line is almost as thick as the dot. So, I think I'd like to make it a little more, uh, like it showed up a little better. I could use paint. But see, I'm not sure if I'm going to um, paint this one yet. Because I definitely, I probably will. I think this could be like my signature, adding the gold to them. Let me zoom back up because um, I'm not good at doing the variation in color. I just use paint to kind of bring, make it my own. So um, I think, but look how big this is. I love it so much. So all these little details in here are what I have to figure out. So, and I don't, I'm not a doodler. So it takes me some time to come up with what do I want to put in there where some people it's just it's easy for them so here look I just see I see this swirly line here it is I'll come in so that's the swirly line I'm talking about I usually put a dot on each side each bend of the swerve so I'll probably do that on these but I just mm, I think that's a good size dot to put there actually so um Anywho, I will be back, you guys. I appreciate you all. Thanks for watching.